B. Arthur spent her final days here at her secluded gated home in this exclusive section of Brentwood. She was on a morphine drip to keep the pain from her long battle with cancer at bay. It also kept her asleep most of the time. Her two sons remained by her side and they were with their mom when she finally passed away early Saturday morning. Oh, Dorothy, can I borrow your mink stole? It's Miami in June. Only cats are wearing fur. <laughs> Arthur's Golden Girls co-star, Rue McClanahan, is in mourning today. She spoke on the phone with our Megan Alexander. I'll always miss that voice. She says she's been worried about her good friend since the last time she saw her at the 2008 TV Land Awards. B. Arthur was painfully thin and held onto her co-star's arm for support. When I saw her last year, she was truly frail. Very tiny, I mean, you know, very thin. B. Arthur is the second star from the Golden Girls to die. Last summer, Estelle Getty passed away. Arthur failed to show up at Getty's memorial service, and now we know she was in failing health. This was B. Arthur's last public appearance. She looked thin but happy when she showed up at the TV Academy just six months ago to enjoy one final honor induction into the Hall of Fame. Though Arthur lived her life in the public eye, friends say she wanted her passing kept private. We can't have a memorial because she specifically does not want one. Her other Golden Girls co-star, Betty White, is remembering her good friend. She released this statement. I have dearly loved her for a very long time. How lucky I was to know her. A sentiment shared by everyone who knew this comic legend, whose husky, unforgettable voice made America laugh. You are